In this short video, I will summarize some of the benefits of using secure remote access for program updates, maintenance, and fault finding. Let's start by considering what value is added by remote access. A good remote access solution must be transparent to the user. The tools which are used on a day-to-day -day basis should function seamlessly from a remote location as though the operator was on site. No reconfiguration should be necessary. Remote access enables operators to respond to application downtimes more quickly, thereby reducing costs. Preventive maintenance is simplified because no on-site presence is required. Also, having an expert with the right tools available on demand increases productivity. Many years ago, remote network access was achieved using dial-up modems. This was based on time and distance and was therefore expensive. Today, remote access is achieved using the internet or private networks. While time and distance are no longer factors, other challenges have arisen. Remote access is typically a function which requires assistance from the IT department. This is often true even when the network is not run by the IT department itself. Any kind of remote access to an organization is going to introduce security concerns. Remote access must not introduce weaknesses or vulnerabilities. Remote access usually takes place through corporate firewalls to ensure it complies with the company security policy. But this often means that changes must be made to the firewalls. Remote access often leads to IP address conflicts. This is especially true if access is required to two networks which are using the same IP address range, which is common in industrial networks. Finally, to configure remote access using standard virtual private networks requires in-depth IT knowledge. If you are a machine builder or system integrator, the value of remote access is clear. Services are an important revenue stream and remote access will add additional value to your service contracts. Regular maintenance will prolong the lifetime of machinery, thereby reducing warranty costs. If your employee does not need to visit your customer's site, then savings can be made through reduced travel costs. Maintenance and even fault finding often involve prolonged periods of inactivity. Remote access allows your employees to service multiple customers simultaneously, therefore making the most efficient use of their time. And of course, let's not forget the most important thing, Remote access will enable you to provide better service to your customer. As an end user, you can also benefit from allowing remote access to your application. Having experts on site 24 hours a day is the best way to minimize downtime. But this is often not practical or affordable. Remote access is the next best thing. If you have remote sites, especially unmanned ones, your employees will spend a lot of time traveling. Of course, there will always be cases where a person is required on site, but remote access will reduce these to a minimum. Finally, even remote sites need to be supervised. The ability to connect on demand provides a valuable tool to increase control over your application. Let's look at some typical remote access topologies. We'll run through these topologies quite quickly, so just pause the video if you need more time to study the topology. In all the following topologies, there is an engineer with a laptop on the right-hand side in this diagram, connecting to a factory floor on the left-hand side in this diagram. The only difference between the scenarios is how the connection is made. In this transparent example, a connection to the internet already exists via the corporate network. To clarify, if somebody attaches a PC to the factory floor network, that person would get access to websites on the internet. All the routing is already in place. This is certainly the simplest topology. In the second scenario, the factory floor network does not have a connection to the corporate network and therefore no internet access. So the connection is made using a wireless client on the factory floor connected to a wireless access point on the corporate network. 
In the third scenario, no internet access is available at all. So internet access is provided by a 3G or 4G cellular modem. Many standalone routers, including the Hirschman Owl family, allow an internet connection to be established by sending an SMS message to the router. In any case, the internet connection should only be established when remote access is required. In this case, a mobile phone is tethered to a wireless client, so the phone acts as a wireless access point. The wireless client will only connect to that specific mobile phone. The phone routes data to the internet via its cellular connection. When the person with the phone walks into the room, a connection is established to the internet. When the person with the phone leaves the room, the internet connection will be dropped. This is an excellent way to ensure that a connection which should be temporary is not left open permanently. Simple but effective. Of course, many other topologies are possible. By now, you will understand the benefits of remote access. As you would expect from Hirschman, the secure remote access solution has been designed specifically for use in industrial environments. Unlike some competitor products, it's more than just an office solution inside an industrial housing. It requires a minimum IT knowledge to get it running. All the previous examples showed remote access over the internet, but there's also a version which can be run entirely on a private network with no internet access required at all. There's even a free of charge 30 day trial, so you can try it for yourself without being contacted by a salesperson. For a more detailed introduction or more information, please view some of the other videos on this channel or just visit our website. Thank you for watching.